Gawadar is a Balochi name which means gateway of air. It is a port in Pakistan's Balochistan province. From 1797 to 1958, Gawadar was a part of Oman. This raises the obvious question, how did Gawadar become part of Oman in the first place and how did it become a part of Pakistan in 1958? So our story goes back to a very famous person in Baloch history, Mir Nuri Nasir Khan of Kalat. In 1797, there was a power struggle between the sons of the founder of Omani royal family. These sons were Sultan and Said. Sultan lost and escaped to Kalat. There he signed a deal between him and the Khan of Kalat in which he basically said that the Khan of Kalat agreed to give him the peninsula of Gawadar under one condition. He would use it to finance himself during his exile but once he regained the throne he would return Gawadar to Kalat. Now you might think this agreement because it's very simple it must have gone as expected right? Fun fact no. And power struggles began in Kalat after Mir Nuri Nasir Khan's death and Oman occupied Gawadar. When Kalat became a British princely state, the British struck a deal with Oman. Knowing that Gawadar was rightfully a part of Kalat state, they said, if Oman allowed them to exploit the natural resources of Gawadar, then the British would support Oman's claim over it. They even went as far as to change its history, claiming that Gawadar was, in fact, a gift from the Khan of Kalat to the Sultan of Oman, therefore does not need to be returned to Kalat, although this is not true at all. Fast forward to 1947 and the British have left the Indian subcontinent, which is now divided between the dominions of India and Pakistan, the latter of which borders Gawadar. Then in 1954, when Said bin Temur was the Sultan of Oman and Malik Firoz Khan Noon was the Prime Minister of Pakistan, the government of Pakistan asked Oman whether they could conduct a survey of the territory of Gawadar. The Sultan of Oman allowed them to do so, and the joint Pakistani and American team began their survey. We concluded their survey with two important findings apart from the natural resources, obviously. Firstly, Gawadar was a deep sea port which could be very useful for trade, and secondly, majority of the population was ethnic Baloch, and since majority of Balochistan was already in Pakistan, they also wanted to join Balochistan. And therefore, Pakistan was quite interested in buying the region. In 1954 th began the four-year-long talks between the two countries for the purchase of Gawadar. Other than Firoz Khan himself, his wife Begum Vikarunissa, who was originally an Austrian convert to Islam as well as the Baloch tribal leader, Nawab Akbar Khan Bukhti also played an important role in these talks. In 1958, it was decided that Pakistan will finally purchase Gawadar, and they asked the Sultan of Oman how much he wanted. The Sultan said he wanted 5.5 billion Pakistani rupees, which in those days was a big amount, unlike today where the Pakistani rupee is a quite weak currency. The bulk of this was paid by Aga Khan IV, who, who was at that time the religious leader of the Ismailis. Today, when we hear about Gawadar, it's mostly in the news about CPAC, which is basically a short form for China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. This, in turn, is actually a part of China's ambitious One Belt and One Road project, through which they can plan to connect most of Eurasia and Africa with China. Now obviously this project does have its downsides. In 2015, the port of Gawadar was leased to China for 43 years and it is believed that if Pakistan fails to pay its debts, then the extent will develop to extend this lease for nobody knows how long. And furthermore, in 2021, Pakistani government actually started fencing off Gawadar officially to protect the Chinese investments from insurgents. But Many people protested, fearing this would lead to militarization. It is even alleged that there is a Chinese base in Gawadar, but this is not actually true. The thing is that there is an unconfirmed rumor about a Chinese base in Balochistan, but that rumor places the location not in Gawadar, but in another place called Jivani. As for Gawadar, we don't know any base so far. And regarding CPAC, it can be a blessing if only the debt is paid, otherwise 
the equation will be reversed. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode and special thanks to the acknowledgements you can see on my screen.